surfer boyfriend is catching more than waves. Your girl crazy. And she wiped out over his blind date. How long were you guys kissing? Only about an hour. Only about an hour. Oh my God. So bad. You cheated on me. After she has a tubular blind date too. There was a lot of sexual tension. The next thing I knew, we were lips locked. It sounds like they kissed a lot more, but I think our kiss was a little more intense. Will they still be hanging ten? It's definitely the big kahuna of kissing. Or will they have a change of heart? All right, thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new, and we're going to meet their dates a little bit later. First, let's meet our couple. Now, she's a professional horseback rider, and he's a professional surfer, but she grew up on the beaches of Southern California, and he grew up in the horse country of Virginia. Now they've been dating for seven months. Please welcome Daniela Shine and Landon Booth. Welcome to the show. Uh, you guys are here because you don't know if the relationship, if you guys are just horsing around, or you're going to really hang 10 at this point. Uh, Landon, let me ask you, was she on a horse when you first met? Chris, she was wearing, uh, the, first of all, she's wearing these ah. really tight riding pants. They're amazing. Is that what it was? Really tight That's what it was. Riding pants. You can't something. go wrong and there. Best of all, she it was a question event, and she won the whole thing, and it just, we hit it off, and I got her number, and I was happy as can be. Good start. And Danielle, is uh, Landon a romantic guy? Absolutely. <laughs> this guy took me Thank to the you. Hollywood Bowl, and um, he packed flowers, food, and <laughs> got a private booth. Aww. And uh, we wa we listened to the symphony under the stars. It was, it was really nice. Very nice and romantic. Yeah. Now, Daniela, since you grew up uh, on the beaches, I would imagine you're pretty familiar and comfortable and know a lot about. No, you're shaking your head. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't mention the word Very beach close to minded. Me, please. Very close minded. Uh, to the beach about the beach. Why is that? Because Landon doesn't go into the water. He's a pro surfer. He looks at the I women. Do too. You, you know, <laughs> the women. That's right, Landon. You don't that's give me a change. You don't come watch me. You never he, come watch. I don't want to come watch you stare at other women. He loves. It's a profession of mine. I don't stare at women. I'm not. Yeah, but you're supposed to be in the water, though, he just, right? I am in the water. She won't come watch uh, her. And then he doesn't take a shower after he goes in because he says his hair looks better. Okay, yeah, just, Landon. How much time do you guys get to spend together? Would you say? Well, we spend no time alone because it's always me and our friends. You know, it's like I'm like an eighth wheel. Her and her posse? Yeah, I mean, it's like every time we go anywhere, <laughs> yeah. she knows half the bar and knows everybody. I mean. You're girl crazy, though. <laughs> so every you guy is. But Daniela, love going to the bar Daniela let me ask you, why can't you spend time alone with him instead of having the friends all over? I don't know. We just, we don't, it, it hasn't happened. He, we, we'd like to go to Because you don't want to. You, I like to go to clubs. You like to go to clubs. That's your style, And not every mine. time I turn my back, you're... Somewhere else. Flirting somewhere, huh? He's a huge flirt. Now, Daniela, does he make up for the fact that he doesn't shower by treating you well when you guys are together? Um, when you go out? Well, not really, because he doesn't, basically, he doesn't treat me at all. Because oh. uh, we have very conflicting schedules. It's not his schedules. fault. I mean, he's, he, it's a profession. It's a profession. He, he she says, doesn't see his profession. She sees it like Girl watching. <laughs> it's not girl watching. I mean, it's, a, it's something that's I do the, for a living. I mean. That's just one of the fringe benefits. But Landon, what about not showering? Does that cause problems in the bedroom? <laughs> I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, Danielle is quite the crazy type. She's wild. Uh, yeah. And she's real wild, and it's fun. But you know, I mean, she gets a little aggressive sometimes, and you know, I'm, I'm worn out for the day of, of working. Well, it's, you get aggression after not being alone with someone when you have the chance. She's all over it. Well, is it you can't keep up or what? Oh, I can keep up. I, mean, I just feel like, I mean, I, can, I, have, I have many other ways to have fun. And then one of them is actually in the water surfing, which she doesn't believe me. Okay, well, Diana, you said she's wild. Is she wild outside the bedroom also? She is very wild. She is a born and raised Hollywood girl. She's completely fast paced, uh, you know, different level than me. And I can't hang with her sometimes. I Life in the fast lane, huh? Life in the fast He's lane. He's starstruck. I'm not so starstruck. She thinks all, I am. This, I'm whatever totally he's not. saying right now makes no sense. I mean, he maybe like boys hanging out. Maybe supermodels like to see. But I don't really care about any other actors or anything. All right, Danielle, oh. tell us another difference between uh, the two of you, you and Landon. Well, um, I I don't drink anymore, and he'll have a couple drinks, and he gets I mean, a little crazy. Good. He's wandering around. It's, you know, he's she's not really comfortable. Women. I had he's a kiss of women. Oh my God. He's touching. <laughs> Drink at all? What are you getting drunk and you're fondling? Yeah, I don't get drunk. I have like three beers. Fondling I mean, would be the word. Yes. I'm, I'm an athlete. I can't drink with so much. I don't drink that much. That's not the point, but it, it affects me though the drinking. Yeah, but oh, what about the fact, Landon, though, that she doesn't drink? Wouldn't you be more considerate and maybe mm. not drink also? Well, I mean, yeah, but why do you want to go to clubs? I mean, that's everybody drinks at clubs. I mean, why don't we go to the beach? 
or something else. Are you inviting me to the beach? <laughs> I've invited you a million there times. There you go. There's your date. Uh, yeah. But, Daniela, uh, why is now a good time, though, for you guys to have gone on these dates? I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm wasting time with Landon. I'm wasting time. Oh. This is the best time you'll ever have. I just, I don't know if he really cares about me. And I totally care about you. Right, well, that's what you want to find Sorry, out. Then. I want to find out. Okay, see if she's wasting time or not. That's what we're going to find out. It seems obviously that Landon and Daniela have some big waves in their relationship. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out will they stay together or have a change of heart. Daniela and Landon. Now, Landon wanted a Southern Belle instead of a Hollywood kid. Someone who would spend more time with him but not really demand a lot of sex from him. So we matched him up with a Texas beauty who says her ideal date is a travel adventure with someone special. Please welcome Reagan Jones. Who's more Landon's type, you or Regan? Um, well, it could be her. No. I don't know. Uh, and, and Landon, when you finally met, were you pleased? Oh, I was thoroughly pleased. I mean, she looked amazing, just wearing tight pants and really nice blouse and slim, very sexy, and just unbelievable. So, Reagan, where did Landon tell you that he was taking you? He didn't. It was a surprise. But he took me down to this little place called Naples. And it was like an Italy, Venice um, thing with canals. And we ate right on the water. It was really romantic. It was so good. Yeah. Good choice, I guess. And, Landon, were there some other surprises that you had planned? Oh, there's a lot of surprises. Uh, we, uh, after dinner, uh, I chartered a uh, Venetian gondola and had a, uh, we had a, guy, a guide from, actually, Italy who, who sang... Italian opera. Oh, oh that was awesome. That was awesome. Mencio, and uh, he um, oh. took us out in the water. It was beautiful, stars, and it was unbelievable. Now, Daniela, is Landon always this romantic? Whatever. Oh. Never does oh. this for me. You don't want to. Your friends aren't along. I can't believe you. Yeah, you took can only fit a couple of people in one of those little boats. <laughs> yeah. She, she appreciates. She appreciates salt water and all that. And Landon, how, uh, how romantic did it get while you guys were sort of? Well, Chris, it got a lot better because. Once we got on the boat, there was a Venetian tradition that under each bridge you go under, you have to kiss. Oh. And, uh, and he, he told us this right away, and we got to the first bridge, and uh, we kind of were nervous and stuff, and he kind of went, uh-uh, and um, kind of so made us wait, kiss. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Oh, made you kiss, yes. It was, well, hitting you in the head with the oar. He didn't have a twist in my he arm. He made us, he made us. Did he you wouldn't go without kissing. Plan this, this kissing I thing? had no idea. That You're lying. No, oh, he said he learned it from He's the guy. so bad. You cheated on me. And there was more bridges, and... Oh. Well, Reagan. Reagan, was the kissing limited to just those moments under the bridge? Um, until the end, when uh, the gondolier told us that he would sing us a song in English if we'd kiss all the way through it. And um, he sang us a song. And you kissed <laughs> and it kissed through the, the entire, entire song? song? Yes. Wow. With imaginary bridges. Imaginary bridges. Imaginary. All right, so Reagan, uh, Daniela was saying earlier that Landon didn't shower and was just all salty. Did you, you, you said you didn't get any of that salt lake? I had no trace of ocean. I think he showered before he took me out. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice of you. That was so nice. Oh, how sweet. Now, Landon, one of the things you said about Daniela is the friends are always there. When you were out with Reagan, was she much more attentive? It was one-on-one? -on -one? It was very one-on-one. -on -one. She was uh, very like inquisitive about my job, my profession, stories. And I was in, in awe that this beautiful girl cared about what I had to say. Oh. Unlike you. Oh. What? And she, she actually oh, cared. Very oh, she appreciated that's the fact mean. that I worked for a living. I listen to everything you have to say. Landon, the other thing Daniela said, you're a little starstruck and always wanting to go hang out and see celebrities or whatever. Did you take Reagan somewhere where that might happen? No, because I'm not starstruck. I took her to, after that we went to like this place down at UCLA, so the college bar is right on, overlooking all of Beverly Hills. And no oh, stars. See, there you go. No. No celebrities, no, no famous people. Yeah, it was, it was tri strictly just us. We were like the only people in the bar. Yeah. It was very romantic. Oh, romantic. Right, well, let me ask Reagan this because Daniela was saying that he's girl crazy everywhere he goes, girls, girls, girls. Did you sense that when you were with him, he was like that? No, no, always very attentive. Um, he looked at one girl. Oh. She was on the That's gondolier, but she was screaming that she just got engaged, and so, so everybody cute. was like, yeah, it was awesome. Right, right. Next to this yeah. yeah, I mean. That's, that's it. But it was, yeah, she was, it was beautiful. All right, now, Reagan, when you were with him, you said you went to somewhere quiet, but did he talk about stars and celebrities? Did he come off starstruck? Not any more than anyone else would that was new to L.A. I mean, we kind of 
exchange stories and stuff, but I think that's just all part of the fun of LA. You know, we're well, from different yeah, places, it's, it's, it's so a, it's, it's, a, just, it's a culture shock to yeah. us. Okay, and Landon, how long were you guys hanging out there? Uh, we hung out there for a little bit, and then uh, we actually. Oh, wait, how long were you guys in the, the kissing? Oh no, that that was that. This we're now only about an hour. We went so. to spa afterwards. Only about and then an hour. The gondola ride was about an hour. Wait, at what point of the date was this? This was at the beginning of the date, and this happened. This is the very beginning of the date. Yeah, I mean. All right, what happened at the end dinner. of the date? Well, wait. Before we get to the end, let me ask Landon if uh, Regan did anything that annoyed you while you guys were out. Uh, yeah. I mean, she was just almost too nice. I mean, she was just too nice, and sometimes she had trouble like telling how she felt, and I kind of had trouble reading her for that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, she was too nice, you know. Oh no! I mean, and Landon, yeah. did you also get a chance to find out if uh, whether or not Percy <laughs> Sherry, if whether or not Reagan would be as demanding as Daniela? Um, she would not be nearly as demanding as Daniela. No way. She, I mean, again, she just appreciated what I did. You know, she was really inquisitive. I, I been, didn't have to demand anything from him, though. He was just, I mean, he was perfect. So. Wow. You are right. He was perfect on the first date. You're right. I'm perfect all the time. <laughs> all right, Reagan, so we, we heard about the kissing earlier with the boat and all of that. What about as the date went on anymore? Um, a little bit at his place, and then uh, when he took me home. At your place? Um, you tell me that. that. And then he took oh. me home. Yeah, I'd never seen him surf, but I can say that he's definitely the big kahuna of kissing. Oh! oh. The big kahuna. All right, will a romantic gondola <laughs> ride and constant kissing be enough to give Landon a change of heart? We're going to find that out later. But next, we'll meet the man that Daniela dated, and we'll hear all about their dates. So stay with us. <laughs> all right, we just heard what happened on Landon's date with Reagan, and now we get to meet the man that Daniela dated. Daniela wanted a man who isn't surfer and isn't girl crazy or starstruck, so he matched her with a man who learned to surf as a kid in Los Angeles but chose a grown-up career in finance. Please welcome Spiro Konamite. Yeah. 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 Hi, Spiro. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Landon, uh, who do you think's a better surfer, you or Spiro? Uh, well, I guess I do it for a living, so probably me. Probably you. Yeah. Not from Did what I hear in the uh, shallow end over there. <laughs> <laughs> Daniela, we heard a lot about how Landon uh, surprised Reagan. Did Spiro surprise you with your date? Absolutely. He came over and um, uh, he, he's a take charge type of guy. And I like guys. I like do that. the same thing. I take charge and sometimes. So he's romantic. He definitely took charge. He, uh, the whole date was a big surprise. Uh, uh, what, what, what was the first surprise? Well, I guess the first surprise would be the beautiful gift that he brought me. Which and was? It was this, it was from a specialty store, a candle on this glass stand. It was great. It was so, so I mean, Do you collect candles? Was that something you like or something? It was thoughtful. And that's she the liked thought, the uh, sentiment, the I guess. And Spiro, what did you think when you first met Daniela? I mean, what can you say? I got to the door and I saw this beautiful, blonde, just bombshell. I was amazed. I was knocked out. I just was ready to go from that point on when I saw her, so. All right, Daniela, surprise number two, what was that? Uh, well, he took me to this authentic Mexican street called Overa Street, and um, he, uh, we walked around the shops, and he, he talked to me about this, this lollipop, this mango lollipop with chili powder on it, but I felt so bad, so I ate it. It was just gross. <laughs> it was, you, you, liked, you liked it after a while. Anyway, I out. didn't like it. But. Yeah, Spiro, that's not real romantic unless it was well, doing something for you. I gotta say, it's not that romantic, but it's something that I just wanted to see if she'd try it, and I really thought she was gutsy for trying it. It was something, <laughs> it's not something that anybody would ever, you know, just go for, so and a woman, I really admired it. And something to be good. said with a woman with a lollipop, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I think he <laughs> wanted to see me suck on the lollipop. And Spiro, no, what, about, that, what about surfing? Did that subject come up? Actually, yeah, we talked about surfing a little bit, but it's something that, you she know, I, I did more when I was younger. Did she bash you for surfing too, or? No, not really. No, I, I don't just... need to bash him because he does it for a different reason. He uh, enjoys the... If you come watch me, then you really see what it's all about. The beauty of the ocean. Well, the thing is, I learned at a certain age that there's really no money in surfing, and I decided to get a real job, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and money isn't everything, I mean. All right, Spiro, you, uh, have a house. you guys were landlocked there on El Vero Street. How long did that take place? Well, we were there for a couple hours, but we had to be somewhere, so I, I had plans to go down to the Santa Monica Pier, so we went down to the pier and um, walked around the pier and then went to the restaurant, and I just decided to go ahead and order dinner because I knew the menu and 
just went ahead and ordered dinner and we went on from there. He's yeah. Not, he's not, this guy because he's not a wimpy guy. What, and you like the fact that he took charge, ordered dinner? He took dinner. charge, he ordered, and he ordered everything yeah, that you wanted. Yeah, you wanted to go to the beach wanted. with me. Why'd you go, I mean, I thought you didn't like the beach area. I thought, um, was a, I thought you were all about clubs. But it wasn't about the beach and, and the babes. It was about Spiro <laughs> and me. Oh. <laughs> Daniela, you said that Landon, when you guys go out, would drink, and that bothered you a little bit. Did Spiro drink and you not? You know, Spiro did have a glass of wine, but I didn't notice. I was looking in his eyes. I just was, I really was. This guy, you know, I... You don't need a drink to be around someone like this. I mean, it's just enough to be in this woman's company. She's hey, beautiful enough to look at. You don't need a drink <laughs> to, change to pass life. that. Hey, Spiro, Landon said that she lives in the fast lane. Did you get a sense that Daniela's like that? Yeah, you know, I did. I, I got it at first, and she brought up some things. But you know what? I, I pretty much live the same way. So it's like once I think you realize that I grew up the same way, then things got a little more comfortable. And you wouldn't have a and problem she, keeping up. Yeah, totally. And she, you know, I saw a little softer side to her, and I liked that. It was nice. So and Daniela, how would you assess the chemistry between the two of you at this point? Well, it was intense. <laughs> it was like, I, I needed a little change of atmosphere, so I brought him outside to the balcony, and he forgot his coat. So we had to put his arms in my, co in my uh, jacket. Just to keep warm. And we embraced, and um, it was nice. It was really good. Right. <laughs> I liked it. Now, Spiro, at this time in Landon and Reagan's date, they were practically locked in, uh, you know, heavy lip lock there in that gondola. Uh, what about the two of you out there on the balcony? Well, not at this point, but I, I must say there was a lot of sexual tension going on throughout the whole day. And uh, I, I was really fighting to, to hold myself yeah, back. Danielle is definitely the aggressive type. <laughs> oh, she's, she's not afraid. Uh, and Daniela, then how did things uh, wind up on your date? Well, um, I had to be up early in the morning, so um, I went, we went back to my house and... Um, you went back to your house? Your house? And, and he mentioned that he wanted to continue the date. I mean, he wanted to go and get coffee. Yeah, we were having a good time. We were having a really good time. But it really was late and um, I needed to go, so we, we ended the date. She had to go to club. She probably didn't tell you that. No. <laughs> and, and Spiro, did you think there was still some sexual tension there at the Definitely. end of the date? Definitely. When I dropped her off, I don't know what happened. I mean, we were talking for a few minutes, saying goodbyes, and the next thing I knew, we were lips locked. I mean, was, we, we were kissing. She was going back to the door. I was going back to I my car, we, and then back to her away, kissing. And then the other one would come back, and we just kept coming back to each other. And this went on for a little while? It was an epic kiss. It was a good kiss. It's something that you'd want to go back for. Okay. We'll see how different they were, because Landon and Daniela now have to make a decision. During the break, they're going to come to that decision, and we'll find out. Will they stay together or have a change of heart, so don't go away? <laughs> moment of truth because during the break Daniela and Landon each made a final decision about the future of their relationship and there's no turning back now will they stay together or have they had a change of heart you guys came on the show because you were worried that maybe you were wasting your time in the relationship and uh, Daniela you wanted to see if Landon really did care about you uh, we're gonna start with you you said you wanted to date somebody who wasn't a total surfer boy somebody that wasn't all girl crazy like you think Landon is and somebody that was gonna be a little more sensitive to the fact that you don't drink and you guys hang out in different ways uh, so, there you were with Spiro. You guys had a really good time. You planned a romantic date. You were down there on Elvero Street. You actually ended up on the beach with a quiet dinner. Uh, he's not real starstruck, and he seemed to like you. It's your decision, though. Stay together or change of heart? Well, don't get me wrong, Landon. You're, uh... I, I, he, a lot of great qualities. Um, a little vain. Perfect for me. Great guy. Change of heart. Okay, and uh, Spiro, from that reaction, I guess it's okay with you. Yeah, it's fine with me. Okay, I'm now Landon, happy. it's your turn. You said you wanted to date somebody that wasn't going to have a constant entourage tailing along with them. Somebody that wasn't in the Hollywood fast lane in that whole scene. Somebody that was going to share your idea of romance a little closer. So there you were with Reagan. You guys uh, both have that southern heritage. You had a romantic gondola ride. You guys were kissing under the uh, bridges and then that entire song. <laughs> You might have set a new record for her. Uh, <laughs> but it is your decision. Daniela wants a change of heart. What do you say, Landon? Well, Daniela, also, um, I've had a great time with you. You're a wonderful girl, and you've shown a lot to me. And, but, you know, she understands me more, and uh, she appreciates what I do for a living, regardless of what it is, and I'm going to have to have a change of heart. Change of heart. Okay. 
guess that's okay with you. That's okay with you. Very good. Well, Daniela and Landon, you know, you guys thought maybe you were wasting each other's time, and obviously, maybe that was the case. And now, though, the good news is you're both in different relationships, and hopefully they'll be better. All right, thanks for being here. That's our show for today. Good luck to Daniela and Spiro, and also to Reagan and Landon. We'll see you next time here on Change of Heart.